Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chedshot. Bring you a tutorial of AVS Video Editor 6.1. Not sure how much it costs to uh, purchase AVS Video Editor, but I have a non activated version right now, so it's basically a free trial, but it's not a trial, it's just uh, I can make videos with it, but um, for free. I'm not sure that what difference between the activated and non activated version, but it's probably not very different. So uh, up here we have you know import media files captured from the camcorder and uh, capture the screen. These are all very self-explanatory, so I'm sure you guys can figure that out. So let's uh, import an example. And there it is, processing right here. So um, start with transitions. We don't have two videos, so we can't uh, use a transition for this one. But if you were to use a transition, you would just find which one you want, which is being previewed right here. And you'd right click it and put add or replace. Click on that. But uh, yeah, that doesn't work since I don't have another video to transition to. So next is video effects. Same concept. Find whichever one you want, let's go grid mosaic right click, add replace then brings it here and then you just edit it to what size you want it and then you could also drag it down so let's take snow and drag it right there and say you want it that big so let's go beginning and see what that looks like now Uh, one sec, let it, let it process that um, those effects. Might take a couple seconds. Yes, it's a little slow right now. <clears throat> I'll give it a few seconds. In the meantime, we'll look over the text. So, um, if you're doing maybe pivot animations or cartoons or something of that nature, you do use like this. So just dragging on down and it goes in right under where the video effects go then of course edit it to whatever size you want it <clears throat> and then there's voice which is basically what I'm doing right now so you if you want to do commentary or whatever use this for your voice and uh, your source, you can change it to whichever microphone you want to use. I'm using my internal mic and source for the volume, master volume. And here's the format for uh, your audio file. For you can see, 44,100 44, hertz is usually is what most people will use. And down to the options, time limit, de <laughs> delay recording, and new player all self-explanatory here's the disk menu not sure entirely what this is about but um I, I guess it's just, yeah it's just a menu style really and you, you can look around this if you want so let's say I'm finished editing at this point I'm, you know, I'm happy with how the video looks I don't know why it's so slow, but yeah. Say so I'm happy with how the video looks. I'm ready to save it. So you can either save the project or you can just go ahead and produce. Click the produce button. 